didn't get this Hitler role either. <laughs> Some scenes set behind my back because I am Adolf Hitler and I'll be portraying him in the Hitler Lizard Army on Discovery Channel, yo! Yeah, great, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, man, I went in there and I could just feel that room, you know? That's something that me and old Ado have in common. Yeah, the instincts! I, I said. <laughs> congratulations, great, congratulations, man. Hey, man, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, whatever. Hey, are you hiding something from me? You can't hide something from me. You got something in the crawl space? You got something in the floor board? No. You hide something from me? I'm no! No! I don't! It's just... Look, man, you know, I, I went out for that role, too. I went out for that exact same role. And, and my Nazi... My, my Nazi acting teacher that I said, uh, he, I've been re making really good strides lately. <laughs> I've been making really good strides. Well, come on, man. You know how this director is. He loves the Third Reich improv. I just uh, went out there and had dirt fun with it. So. Uh, You, you don't care. You walk in and you don't give a shit, and suddenly you book all these choice primo Hitler roles. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're saying I don't care about Nazi reenacting? <laughs> what I'm saying is that, you know, my Hitler acting teacher, I, I, I've been going out for all of these great workshops lately, and I, I'm doing drop ins at the Museum of Tolerance. I'm learning uh, German. Uh, and then you're the one, I'm trying, and you're the one who just walks in and books yet another episodes of Nazis Invented the iPhone. <laughs> hey, did I get lucky? Sure. Yes! I just happen to be doing Bar Method at the same studio as Hollywood's preeminent Nazi reenactor agent, Ira Goldstein. <laughs> <laughs> and, he liked, and he liked my look, okay? It's not my fault, I just project genocide. <laughs> <laughs> you project genocide, you can play anyone, you can play Goebbels or Albert Speer. Hitler's where the money is, man. And are you telling me if you had the opportunity, you would turn down the lead role in Food Network's Secret Recipes of the Reich Chancellery Cafeteria just to be a good friend? No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm done. I'm quitting Nazi show business anyway. I'm out. <laughs> what? Nine, man. You can't do it. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay, hey, can we go to our safe place? Because I gotta be real honest with you right now. Can we go to the Wolf Slayer? Huh? Come to the Wolf Slayer. <laughs> Come to the Wolf Slayer. I'm in the Wolf Slayer. Okay, real talk. I wish I had your dedication, man. I wish I could give myself to these roles the way that you do. It's admirable. I mean, yeah, I book a lot, but when I'm on set and those cameras start rolling, I don't ever actually feel like the Fuhrer. <laughs> I'm just a guy with a good look and not an ounce of hate in my heart. <laughs> Come on, man, you know, truth be told, you got a lot of charisma, a lot of Nazi charisma. You do! You've got that Hitler it factor. You're Hitler. They can't teach you. Hey, you know what, man? The director for the feature I just booked, Nazi Christmas Miracle, he's, uh, he's still looking for somebody to play a ghost of Christmas Hitler future. Maybe we could get you in to read. If you book it, we'll do the movie together. Yeah. You would do that for me? Yeah, absolutely. He's well, a great guy. Like... Absolutely. Hello? Matt Damon, please. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, dude, no problem. Ha, ha, ha.